Hey, how you doing? We're going to look at Yeshua. We're going to look at our Messiah, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, and how scripture tells us that he's going to come in the spring in his first coming and in the fall in his second coming. Um, and the fact that we see how he fulfilled all the spring first day, feast days on time, we have that confidence that he's going to come back and fulfill the fall feast days. And this is going to be expressed in rain in former rains and latter rains. And we're gonna go through four verses. There's other verses to dig into that show things, but I think this makes a nice short video that's kind of cool. So we're gonna start with Hosea, the book of Hosea, verse three, excuse me, verse six, ah, chapter six, verse three. Let us pursue the knowledge of the Lord. Ooh, I, I have to do this. What is the knowledge of the Lord? Go back to Hosea 4, 6. Because obviously, if this is Hosea 6, and he's talking about pursuing the knowledge of the Lord, he's going to define that knowledge. If he does, that's what you're looking at. He says, for people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I would reject you from being a priest to me because you have forgotten the law of your God, the Torah of your God. I will, I will forget your children. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. So, so he's talking about pursue the knowledge of the Lord, that's Torah. All right, his going forth is established like the morning. He will come to us. Ooh, who is he? That's the Lord. That's Yeshua, like the rain, like the latter and the former rain to the earth. The latter rain is the fall rain. The former rain would be the spring rain that already fell. Okay, how do I know this? Well, let's keep going. Let's look at some more passages. Let's go to Joel 2. Okay, in Joel 2, verse 23, be glad, you children of Zion, and rejoice. Well, whenever we see rejoice like this, you start thinking suit coats, you start thinking millennial rain type thing, because that's the time of our joy. But anyhow, for he has given you the former rain faithfully and will cause the rain to come down for you. Okay. The former rain and the latter rain in the first month. So we know he comes to us like the rain, former and thing, but now we know first month. That's Nisan and Tishri. Nisan is Passover um, and those feast days. Tishri is, what is Tishri? That is trumpets, that's rapture. Okay, let's look at another one. We're gonna go to James 5. And there's, there's more verses I could have done, but these are the ones that I thought were appropriate. James 5, verse 7. Oh, this doesn't, oh, I'm in the wrong book, excuse me. Give me a second, here we go, James. There's such little books. It's easy to flip two pages at once and be in the wrong book. James 5, verse 7, therefore be patient, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. So he's telling them to be patient. We need to be patient until Yeshua comes back. See how the farmer waits and um, waits for the precious fruit of the earth, waiting patiently until it receives the early and latter rains. So we are to wait patiently until Yeshua comes back. Let's go to one more. In Zechariah, verse 10. That went too far. Close to the very end of the Old Testament. Zechariah, chapter 10, verse 1. What does it say? Ask the Lord for the rain 
in the time of the latter rain, and the Lord will make flashing clouds. He will give them showers of rain, grass in the field for everyone. Grass in the field for everyone? Yeah, he's the good shepherd, making sure the sheep get fed. But he's saying, ask for the rain. Ask for Jesus to come back. That's what we need to be doing. Praying, asking him to come back. I think though there this might be Israel, that Israel has to be asking him to come back. God bless you guys. Just thought I would share that with you just so you see that scripture again tells us that he's going to fulfill the spring feast days on the day and the fall feast days, as he said. God bless you.